I'm diving into part two of Is Wholesaling Illegal? You know, in recent times, there have been a few uh, developments, you know, with the legality. This is Ola coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. We're back in the studio on this episode. I'm diving into part two of Is Wholesaling Illegal? You know, in recent times, there have been a few uh, developments, you know, with the legalities of wholesaling. Uh, honestly, it's not really a development on legalities, but what's required to be able to wholesale. Okay, and it's very very important for me to distinguish between these two for you. Uh, on the previous episode of this, you know, I did a part one version of this, which in which I talk about uh, the new development uh, with regards to uh, compliance in the state of Illinois, maybe one other state or something like that. And I made it very clear that wholesale wholesaling real estate will never be illegal. Okay. Uh, just the profession as a profession would never be legal just like wholesaling the key term wholesale never mind real estate for a second okay one of the many reasons why the term wholesale uh, uh, wholesaling real estate will never be legal is because wholesale it's never illegal in the world of free enterprise in the world of capitalism in the world of uh, freedom of trading between people trading value value for value right um, the idea of uh, wholesale would never be illegal the fact that I can go to uh, to a certain secret marketplace knowledge using tools using some skill set to acquire a piece of merchandise a product a service at a discounted rate will never be illegal does that make sense so when I come and tell you straight up like no it's never gonna be illegal I want you to take my word for it uh, there are quite a few things that I factor in place, you know, I factor never cheating, never stealing, never lying. However, even in the world of free enterprise, there's something called compliers, there's regulations, you know, and things like that. I want to talk about that a little bit today uh, while I answer this question. The question that came here, can anyone in the group explain the new Illinois law that affects wholesaling and I want to take a little bit of an extra step for that there's a previous video that I recorded where there's some little bit of details with regards to what that law entails and why it really doesn't affect you if you're a true entrepreneur so with that being said like I just said wholesaling as a concept of trading as a concept of entrepreneurship as a concept of commerce e-commerce will never like the idea that you can go to you can go to uh, alibaba.com and get something for cheap and sell it for a higher price at a margin a profit margin here in the united states will never be illegal however if there are practices around the trade that that may be hurting consumers you know the government government agencies the body the laws the law agencies the 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 agencies that that put the laws together that governs the society may come to place and put some regulation in place all right that will never be illegal however they may put some requirements in place for you to practice this at the larger scale and that's what's happening and I feel like I needed to do this part two to do a little bit of uh, better justice to what I mean by it will never be illegal to wholesale real estate am I making sense all right so please if you have any questions please continue to put comments below it doesn't matter you know as as soon as i create time i will get back to i will respond as much as i can i will also respond in the form of videos like this okay so here's what's going on the barrier of entry into wholesaling real estate as a profession has been extremely lowered because of thanks to YouTube. Now, in reality, I don't think it's extremely lowered, but at least from a perspective standpoint, from observing from the outside, it looks like everyone, their moms and pops are wholesalers, okay? There's not a lot of people closing deals, by the way. Don't get it twisted. There's not lots of people closing deals. However, quite a few people are out there talking to consumers 
and putting consumers on a on is coming we'll call it is coming from where i'm from that means you uh, raise their high hopes up and then you never really deliver uh, because you don't know what you're doing because anyone and their moms and pops can become a wholesaler so just like you have in the hairstylist world right where people are touching skin where you have in the world of real estate licensure uh, or, or real estate uh, brokerage where you're literally claiming to represent people's uh, interest right just like you have in the world of stock brokerage where some kind of license is required um, the government is starting to step in and you're going to see more of that okay when it comes to wholesaling in states so let's be clear let me repeat this wholesaling will never be illegal the license is required to participate in wholesaling real estate as a profession there may be more requirements for that okay the idea of wholesaling itself would never be illegal okay if you're not compliant when it comes to licensing it does not mean it's illegal there's two different things completely two different things okay so when I tell you like listen it will never be illegal I want you to take my word for it okay it just doesn't make sense that wholesaling of anything any kind of product services wouldn't be illegal it just unless you live in a, in a, in a in North Korea or something crazy like that right it will never be illegal okay it should never be legal even in some african countries like nigeria like uh, you know some com com countries where there are serious oppressions going on where they can't s come out in public and protest it's in their law that it's illegal that is it's legal it's a legal thing to do yes they may oppress them but it still remains a fact that it's not illegal to practice it well thank god we live in a country where there's some level of freedom <laughs> at least probably the highest form of freedom you can see anywhere on this planet you can find in the united states to a certain extent arguably whatever but you get my point right my point here is this don't beat yourself over the head don't worry about new compliance rules regulations coming to play for you to participate in wholesaling real estate it's not a big deal as an entrepreneur you're supposed to be ready for this kind of uh, minuscule regulation obstacles you know this is just an obstacle just another one okay you have a massive obstacle in front of you which is to learn how to market that's massive because most people uh, retract back to their natural which is uh, try to hard sell people try to, you know the the things they may have learned from the beginning which is complicated but marketing is simple it's just the idea that you have to wait you, you put out performance based marketing and you have to wait sometimes to get results and measure results and then optimize that part can make it complicated for people but if you can learn the skills learn the, how to use the tools it's actually very simple that's the biggest obstacle in front of you learning how to market you see uh, in Illinois they have something in their stipulations that if you close more than one deal in any given year then you basically have to get licensed okay that's what they have that's it that's the obstacle in front of you it's not illegal it's just that you are required to get a license to wholesale more than one property okay to go under contract more than one time a year for the purpose of profit required license but you haven't even closed your first deal why would you worry about that after you close your first deal the least of your issues to get a license or like I said in the first part find a way to partner with brokers brokers and just don't engage personally with consumers that's all partner with people that will engage directly with the consumers and you can make profit all day long think about it this way is it possible that they will tell people that hey uh, you have to be licensed to generate leads for certain industries like you do I have to be licensed to generate leads for the stock brokers no no the, your biggest obstacle is learning how to market and that's what I have to share with you today wholesaling will never be illegal that's number one that's number one fact okay your biggest obstacle number one number two fact your biggest obstacle is you need to learn marketing you need to learn it in a way that you can be consistent that you have a healthy budget in a way that you become a master of this that's the second fact you need to understand okay and probably a third fact is that 
wholesaling will never be illegal uh it's just another obstacle in front of you mini school obstacle for that matter you're gonna go to school go to class for 75 hours learn a few laws about real estate you get a license case closed let's not make it a big deal that's all i have for you on this episode if you haven't downloaded the book yet smart real estate wholesaling go there smartrealestatewholesaling.com and get a, a a free version a free not a free a free copy of this free pdf but you can also get it in the form of a audiobook uh, paperback if that's what you prefer just like this one i do have a second bonus for you i'll give you this in addition to that real estate money secrets my newest book if you go get it hopefully you've been enlightened and educated and i'll see you on the next one and peace